visited 48 states. Well, there was only 48 when I was born. <laughs> Made some beautiful friendships. I talked less, listened more. I'm not such a white guy. That's not true. <laughs> Part about the why is that? <laughs> uh, truly, it feels great to be accepted by young people who don't judge by years but by ability. I thank you, all of you, accept me as a peer and continue to include me in activities like Freedom of Mutter and in the Poconos and Mountaineering and the Pecos Wilderness in New Mexico. First in. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, we gave things on 20. But if I went out with a different girl every night like I did then, I wouldn't last a week. How is my health? Well, I've never been admitted to a hospital. My excuse is I chose the right parents. And I have a wonderful understanding wife, Susan. And a beautiful daughter who keeps me young and up to date on my loving friends who also. I never learned to take medicine that popular really. Uh, but truth be told, I have a guardian angel who returned me to life when I drowned in the White River when I was seven years old. And I reached out her hand countless times since then. And I was tipping the scale on those occasions when I unwittingly balanced on the edge. I don't want to outlive anyone here. I expect all to be at this party again in 30 years. And I reach the age of my great friend, Uncle Charlie, who smoked his mind behind the team at the age of 110. There is a lot to be said from Armstrong. And last, Study at Ballet, New York City School of Ballet on Broadway, and study theater at Columbia University when I envisioned an acting career. They gave me my stamina, my balance, and my attitude. Of course, running up and down mountains in Arizona as a kid, OCS in Oklahoma helped a little, and they led me to the unique coast of where I was taught only. One direction made matter is up, always up. Dave and Dawson's hiking, Tom's climbing, and Sue and Ellen's trekking. But then, Andrew and John, scuba diver, came on and said, wait a minute, there's also a lot of fun going down. <laughs> Caving, scuba diving, and then my son Mark, who took me skydiving, my angel gotta work out that. <laughs> and those things had something to do with my staying home. Uh, what advice can I give? Well, surround yourself with positive friends. I have a whole few. And keep a positive act to reject the best of your life. They only waste time and energy. It's and cherish each day. Even the bad ones, because they give you the ability to appreciate, <laughs> reach out for your desires, and collect fond memories. Where do I get my energy? I think it's 50% mental, and the other 60% is not knowing how to quit. <laughs> what do I do in the future? Well, I want to watch all of you young people making this a world where you can live just like we do, a life of hope and hope. I'd like to give an example of what you can gain from that. What I fear not, right? I don't, I think the first thing I fear is not to do my life with that. And what I enjoy most, all the things I do, even as I do each one, put all you've got in life, get as much as you possibly can out of it, and what would I like to be when I grow up? <laughs> Healthy, happy with the same friends. It's been a pleasure.